The goal of this exercise is to determine what the code prints out when, it's, when it runs, keep taking into account the exceptions that might be thrown or caught. I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to pause the video, and then we'll talk about it together. What I like to do when tracing exceptions is to actually draw out the call stack. Now I'm less interested in the details in terms of what the local variables and parameters are, but what drawing the call stack helps me do is, is keep track of what functions have been called and what order to search those functions for a try-catch block that might handle an exception. All right, so this code starts off by calling main, so we get an activation for record for main on our call stack. And then the code, then the program executes the code in the body of main. It enters the try block and it gets to the call to hello, which creates an activation record for hello. And then execution enters the body of hello. So the first line over there will print out hello called. And then we move on to the second line, which calls the goodbye function. So we get an activation record for goodbye on our call stack and execution enters the body of goodbye. The first thing that does is it prints out goodbye called. And then on the next line, what we do is we default construct a goodbye error object, and then we throw that. Okay, so that pauses the normal flow of execution. The rest of goodbye doesn't actually get executed. Instead, what the program does is it starts looking for a try catch block. So the first thing it will do is determine are we within a try block in the current scope? And in fact, we're not. We don't have a try block within goodbye. Okay, so then after that, it's going to look at the next scope and see, are we within a try block over there? And so in hello, we're also not in a try block. And so then the program will proceed to the next scope and check to see if we're within a try block in main, and indeed we are. And now it will look at the associated catch blocks to see if one of these can handle the type of exception thrown. In our case, we threw a goodbye error, so we'll look for a catch block that can handle that, and indeed there is one. So execution proceeds immediately to that catch block, okay, skipping over the rest of the try block. And so that catch block will print out caught goodbye. And when the catch block is done, execution does not return to the try block. It actually proceeds immediately after the try and its, associ its associated catch blocks. Okay, so that's where we actually print out main returns. And after that gets printed out, the program ends.